It's a new day. A day passed. A, an additional day. I said we'd be here. I'd be here in the morning, but Seb uh, was here alone because I was asleep. Um, and now it doesn't want to start, and the carbs are making a little squeaky noise, and also yeah. the battery's mostly dead. Yeah. It says it should be alright. It like it. Battery it's, okay. It's pretty good. It's just I think just not quite enough. So Seb started it up, and it started first try um, the na the morning after. Yeah, we were working on it. Yesterday so morning. Yesterday morning. So I re-timed the dizzy, and now we can get it to start. But it's making this awful squeaking noise. Yeah, no, it's not on. Ah, and backfiring. So maybe it's filling up with fuel and then backfiring. Actually, both of them are, have got like charcoal -y bits in them. Uh, that's, they've been charcoal for a while. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, well we'll have to pull the carbs off and clean them. And try and fix this timing light. I've got another timing light at home, but... Do you actually? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, I know, I was working a bit yesterday, but it just wasn't like super... Where can we pull it apart and see? Oh, yeah. If we can... Uh, yeah, work. good idea. Yeet. That's so sick. That's why they're flat slides. Yeah. That curved arm for the linear movement from a rotate from rotational movement. Oof. Oofed. You lubing it? Yeah. Do the big lube. Making sure it will actually move. Wow wow wow. Wop They're returning. <laughs> Yay. That's always a good thing. We've tried looking uh, for what is like the correct lubricant for FCRs, but we can't find shit. So if you want to abuse us in the comments about uh, do it, what I the reckon. right thing to use is, please do. Yeah, don't be a bitch, just yeah. abuse us. Just abuse us, be like, oi, you ugly mutts. You That's gotta use lithium grease. And we'll be like, oh, okay, I understand. Dude, just put Elmer's glue in there and she'll be right. Yeah, man. I hear that slides real. I'm actually... Uh, I was just looking at the prices of FCRs and now I'm uh, uh, feeling a little bit like maybe I might do that on the blue car. Imagine the blue stacks with my pink rocker covers, I mean valve covers, in my blue car. That's the big come. So I want to get these running right, of course. I want to get them tuned up nicely, doing everything that they need to be doing. Doing the brat braps. Yeah. Um, and I kind of want to modernize it, like do a bit of electronic stuff, like doors would be nice that lock and unlock automatically. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and then just like, yeah, a bunch of like volt meter stuff and like gauges and stuff like that. I'm in two frames of mind at the moment about it. It's like half of me wants a really um, like factory look, like really sort of augmented factory look and half of me just wants fucking as many like different colored lights br shining on my face while i drive at night yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're talking about doing like an Ar arduino mm. like ra what raspberry pi type arrangement yeah like uh, like get a little arduino and kind of have it as like an ecu mm. but of course it's not controlling the engine but just a bunch of random random yeah. crap around the around mm. the car so like i was thinking maybe like yeah a little voltmeter or have it read a oil pressure sensor and have like a little LCD screen that you can cycle through No everything. shit. Uh, uh, like... Because then you could have like the exact right size screen for a, a place on your dash. Mm. Um, as opposed to getting like a specific car yeah, related yeah, yeah. one. And yeah, and you can, you can kind of just have one screen and then just have a button that cycles through like water temp, oil oh, right. pressure. That would be sick. Battery voltage. So, 
uh, I was thinking that, and it wouldn't be impossible to do because a lot of sensors are like a linear, mm. just voltage across them. I feel like you'd have a lot of head fucks in each one though. Like you'd be like, how do I get this to display the right data? You know, yeah. using the voltage that it's getting. Yeah, it, it's it's definitely a, gonna be a bit of a bit of work, but yeah. possible. Yeah. I think, unless That'd someone sick. thinks it's not, and then tell us in the comments and abuse me. Yeah, but. just abuse. <laughs> I love getting abused on the internet. <laughs> Um, yeah, that'd be sick. You gotta get it so you can, like, control your lights and, uh, unlock and lock your doors and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, like a, like, even like an immobilizer or something. Or that'd like, be so sick. Yeah, yeah, get, get it just, like, controlling a bunch of, yeah, stuff that you can... Yeah. Get it to read your it. fan RPM. Uh, <laughs> fans aren't PWM. <laughs> How funny oh, would that be? PWM fans. That'd be lit. Like fucking left fan speed, right fan yeah. speed. <laughs> <laughs> the most ridiculous stuff is on it. Uh, because I'm putting my Californians on today, I reckon. So I took the uh, other mirrors off. This actually was, this was not a stock mirror. It was like put on there by the previous owner and just tech screwed on. So I'm not actually gonna feel too bad about just tech screwing on my Californians. But um, problem is, uh where these holes are is like ages back from where I mount the Californians so the Californians will go here so I've got to plug those up with weld eventually but I think at the moment I'm just gonna put like some gasket maker in it and deal with it looking a little bit ugly for the moment because I don't really feel like reef spraying both my front doors uh, anytime soon because I am broke now we're gonna put those cars on aren't oh, we said and we're gonna get this turd running. Oh shit, I put an extra letter in there. I meant TRD. Dude. <laughs> oh, that's a good joke. Ultimate just. Well, come on, son. Hell yeah. That's my dad. Oh, no shit. That's so hard to say. So many times we've been recording, I've just it. like looked at it and it, we're gonna, like, it's gonna come out and people are gonna be like, what the fuck is Seb doing? What I'm is Seb like, doing? Oh, wait, it is recording, but yeah. that little number is going up. Yeah. So it's gonna be really embarrassing if it does something really weird. Yeah, I'm gonna be so embarrassed for you. <laughs> Sorry, I flooded it. You killed it. Ah. Wait, let me um, where's that spider bug? you know that's a thing and they're the cubs i think this is a mild success once it stops squeaking hell yeah <laughs> cut to two days of <laughs> trying to make it stop squeaking <laughs> stop squeaking um what do i do do i just tighten it i guess fuck, fuck. you know you know to be sick you get v band v band clamps put on the ends of your um tubes there and then you weld feed band clamps to your intake and then you fucking v-band your is that the one that's like yeah wouldn't that be sick that'd be really cool but yeah big money Mate, I, can't, I don't even think i can afford one v-band <laughs> put me in debt for the next 10 years dude genuinely i don't think i could afford one either i'm so broke rent came out today oh my god end my suffering we did a big pant shit in the time between now and when the camera was last rolling. So we were running the car and we got the intake leak kind of, the squeaky noise kind of sorted. I think we just need to tighten down a couple more of the uh, intake flange bolts, but it slowly started to make this sort of like ticking, sort of creaking, maybe knocking noise that we started to think maybe was rod knock and we had a big panic. We sat down, we fought off tears, uh, we got Open very scared. Oil filter. Yeah, we, we mutilated this oil filter trying to find shit. We dropped the oil out of it, which we can't forget, we can't start it. 
Imagine if we just started. No, really. We might actually get rugged. <laughs> yeah. Um, we were full panicking, and then we were like testing for like uh, play in the bearings, um, and we couldn't really find anything. We couldn't find anything in the oil filter. Really, we couldn't find anything in the oil. So we took the. I started looking at the. Um, oh well, we thought also it could have been coming from the belt, like the. What do you call it? Seventeen belt. Seventeen belt. Access or accessory belt. Seventeen. Same. Yeah. So we thought maybe it was coming from that. So we we took the tension off it and actually took the belt off and the um, water pump pulley was actually pretty like um, it looked a bit oval and then we were kind of jiggling it and it was a bit loose realized that the bolts had wiggled themselves vibrated themselves to be a bit loose there so we are really hoping um, that with the addition of some spring washers and a bit more torque that that noise will desist um, but we'll have to uh, being that we've got the oil out now, we have to uh, drop the coolant, uh, mm -hmm. pull the valve covers off, and then retorque the head bolts to make sure that it's all tight. And then we'll put fluids back in it. And yeah. Oh, with those head bolts, that's not because like it's checking the torque. Oh. That's because when I took the head to the machine shop, they said that parts of it are soft. Um, softer than they should be so like they just said um to make sure do that double check it's all good and then make sure the torque's right yeah yeah make sure it's nice and tight on there and yeah should be good but so essentially we're all in positives at the moment we fixed the intake leak for the most part or diagnosed that at the very least and we're halfway through doing this uh, extra head torque and we've run the the um uh, the flush oil through it, so... New oil, new filter, new yeah. coolant, yeah. top the head. And then we gravy, we do a big skid. No skids. No, fuck, not again. Dude, I realise I'm going to be able to do fat foot-ons with my new coils. My rear coils, because I had the play in the rear springs, um, or like it was a bit soft in the back, it would just trample in the back for a little bit, so it would go and then it would start doing foot-on. Huh. But uh, actually, I did a really big foot on it the night I crashed it. Did you see that footage of it? Me just sitting there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh man. I always thought foot ons were dumb, but they're the best. Doing brake stands rocks. It's so funny. Whatever floats your boat, man. Yeah. I hate tires. And my money. <laughs> Coming. Oh lordy, coming. Alright, last thing we're doing today is I'm chucking on my mirrors. My Californians. The OG Boso Zoku boys. I'm tech screwing them into my doors. Also, I covered my old mirror holes with blue gasket sealer. Cannot, cannot see that. Well, here. I'm the sketchiest kind of life. Perfect color match. Perfect color match. Uh, hey, fucking brilliant. And yet I do it so often. That hurts. <laughs> it genuinely does. It? It's okay. I'll have to respray the doors at some point in time anyway. I reckon I'd like to get this car fully, like, nicely resprayed in the same colour. The raw power. That's it, man. Looks me. That's it. Oh, that looks sick. Actually, it does look really good. Mmm. together. 
actually. Yeah, it feels good. It feels nice and solid. This is my old stomping grounds when I was uh, True. 18. This is where I'd rip my car around. My BMW. Oh, your head up display is, um, is white. Yeah. I won't be able to see it with my polarizing filter on. Really? Yeah. I suppose that makes a bit of sense. Not that this polarizing filter does shit. Alright, you gotta fucking give it the beans. It's cold though. Oh, okay. Just give it a small amount of beans. Okay. Actually, give it as many beans as you feel comfortable with. Oh my god! Oh, it's so smooth! That was like half throttle. That wasn't even giving it like... Dude, it sounds and feels so good. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Like... Um, fucking the big brain shit right there. Instead of actually tuning your carbs, just increase comp so the running richness just works out better anyway. Yeah, instead of rejetting, there's some more compression in yeah. there. <laughs> Man, that feels amazing. Yeah. That feels really, really good. I'm so stoked. Damn, boy. This is how my 4AG has to run when we get it going. Hell yeah. We should maybe we should do a TRD head gasket in mine. Dude, do it. They're not that expensive. Yeah, the At machine, the end of the day. The it's like 400 well. bucks. Maybe I should um maybe I'll put a TRD head gasket in my one that's already apart. Um Damn dude, thanks for that, that was awesome. That'll be a good way to close out this video. There you yeah. go, wait, so this is gonna be the end of that video. We're gonna shoot another video True. today. But um, Seb's car runs good and stuff. It's not knocking the rod. Um, yeah. It hasn't <laughs> done any bearings, any bottom end bearings. And now it's faster than it's ever been ever before. And you can drive it. Yeah, good, and hopefully. it feels super good. Hell yeah, it oh. actually like, you know when you get into a car and it it like revs out and it, you like feel like it's not like burbly or like rattly, it's just like zoom. That's what it feels like. Mm. It feels right, it feels correct. Mm, it does feel good. Mm. It's a bit of a tweak on the carbs, but after that it should be sweet. Hell yeah. Super right. keen. Fuck yeah. Thank for watch. R.I.P. <laughs> Intro and outro music. Although this will be a couple videos after that. Ba ba na ba ba na. Oh, shit. oh shit. Copy strike. Copy strike. <laughs> you know what we gotta do in the um in the new intro is get you edit that you with the exhaust, <laughs> but because it'll be a high tempo, like go go go. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right.